Hey everyone, Danielle here with a video showing you a card I made using a brand new stamp set. This set will be available for um, with our release next week. It is called Pumpkin Everything and it's also our September, October, Your So Neat incentive stamp set. So this will be free with all orders, $50 and over. For today's card, I'm just starting with some watercolor paper and I actually have two pieces here but I'm only going to end up using one. There's the stamp set. And I'm going to be doing some embossing, so I need my Versamark as well as my um, embossing powder. I'm using Wow Black Glint and my little um, embossing tool here. And that just has some powder in it so that the embossing um, powder only sticks where it's supposed to. So I brush those sheets real good, and I'm going to ink up my stamp with the Versamark like so. And then I'm going to stamp it down. And I'm going to eyeball it. I'm trying to center it the best that I possibly can um, without getting out any additional tools because I'm too lazy. And I'm just going to push it down really well. So now I'm going to get my embossing powder and sprinkle it all over what I just stamped and then just take the excess and pour it back into my little container. I don't use this black that often so I just have a small container and right now I'm wishing that it was a little bit bigger because that would make it easier. But um, that's what the scrap paper is for. So I noticed that there were just a few little spots where some of the powder stuck to, so what I like to do is just take a teeny tiny little um, dry brush and you can just brush it right off. And then I will put my little spoon back and dump the extra into the container, which is nice to have that scrap paper so you can do that. And then set this all aside. I like to use a baby wipe just to pick up any of the extra embossing powder that might have strayed. And now what I'm going to do is actually watercolor uh, what I just stamped. And I actually made like three versions of this card. So the editing on here is a little choppy because um, some of them I didn't like. But um, what I did for all of them was start like this. So I just, after I embossed that um, stamp, I took some water and I just kind of went around the outline of the pumpkin. I didn't go really on the inside. And then a few areas just kind of on the white space in the card. And I'm using some watercolor paints. I like to use um, liquid watercolor paints. I don't know why. I just I like they, the way they look. I feel like I can get really vibrant colors with them. And I'm going to use some fallish colors. So I have a yellow, which is like super bright, and then a nice little orange that I'm just going to kind of push and blend in with the yellow that I just did. And I, um, you know, I don't really know how to watercolor, I just kind of play around with it. I think that's what a lot of people do because that's kind of the beauty of the watercoloring is you can just do, you know, kind of do whatever you want. It's it's really hard to mess it up, I think. It just takes some experimenting and figure out um, figuring out which actual kind of watercolors you like to use. Do you like, um, you know, a dry palette? Do you like liquids like these? Um, you know, there are distress markers you can watercolor with or your distress inks. Um, there are just so many options these days for water coloring since it's become so popular. So, you know, just try them all out and, you know, see which one you like best. And I think what I like about water coloring is you kind of have, you know, you have some wiggle room. There's a lot of flexibility. Um, if you mess up, it, it's not too hard to, to kind of either cover it up or, or correct your mistake. Sometimes if I get too much color or a, maybe a puddle of water that's just um, too big, I'll get my brush and I'll kind of dry it off on a paper towel or a scrap piece of watercolor paper like I'm doing right now. And I'll take that dry brush and go back in on the area of color that maybe is too dark or has too much water and I'll just soak up some of the color with my dry brush. And that kind of helps to correct and um, tone down a color or soak up any extra water. So here it is after it dried and I let it air dry. You could also zap it with your heat gun if you didn't have enough time. That's a pumpkin I did, which I'm not using for this card, so ignore that. I'm gonna put some vellum down first and then mount my card front on that. And I think I'm gonna do some stitching across the top. So I just ran back and forth with my sewing machine a few times, and now I'm going to adhere the vellum and the card front to my card base, which is um, just black cardstock. And I'm just gonna make sure it fits. And I am going to be using my um, scrapbook adhesives uh, tape runner. This one's really heavy duty, um, definitely holds things in place. And I'm going all along the back of the vellum sheet 
because I want it to stick, you know, stick to my card base. I also, um, right now the only thing connecting the watercolor paper and the vellum is the stitching I did at the top. So I did a few strips of the adhesive underneath there as well. And I'm going to center it on my card base and just push it down firmly. And what I decided to do up towards the top, right near the stitching, I didn't take my adhesive all the way up to the edges. Um, so I'm just kind of gently folding down and um, working the watercolor paper as well as the vellum just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension since I didn't use any foam adhesives. I think it just gives it a little bit of interest and kind of gives it a little shabby distressed look which I think is cool. So here's the finished card. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit the blog and we have our September release next week so I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.